She rose higher than any woman in Port Authority police history. Today was her final salute from officers on duty at the Lincoln Tunnel. After 26 years of service, Assistant Chief Norma Hardy said the key was to stay humble. I'm the same way I was when I came on the job, the same way I'm leaving the job, the same exact way. She calls her first few weeks on the job a trial by fire after a bomb rocked the World Trade Center while she was on duty in 1993. But she says she proved herself to the men when she beat them in a chase to tackle a man with a gun inside the Port Authority bus terminal a few years later. Uh, after that, I had everyone's attention as to what kind of officer I could be. Chief Hardy was assigned to the first all-female team tasked with taking down suspects while dressed in plain clothes. Her partners from back then flew up from Florida this morning to be here. We were just called everything ebony and ivory. Yes. We were called um, frickin' frack and, yes. uh, you know, whatever they could do yes. to whatever, you know. And again, we would do the same thing. We'd work plain clothes, we'd bring an arrest back, not a problem. Her classmate from the academy said they were just two of three women to graduate in 1993. She's going to be leaving a huge hole when she goes. Hardy was the first black woman named inspector at the Port Authority in 2011. She became assistant chief in 2013. She achieved great milestones and not only as a police officer but as an African American woman there was a lot of firsts. But perhaps her most lasting accomplishment will be the impressions she's made on young officers. Thank you for being a mentor. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. As for what's next for Assistant Chief Hardy, she says she wants to spend her hours in retirement working with young children who live in the inner cities. She says she wants to mentor them to show them that they have what it takes to accomplish all of their life's dreams.